Hi class, this is Toby. Toby, say hi. No? Okay. So Toby is a green cheek conure, and according to the site like La Faber, they are usually found in Brazil, Bolivia, and Argentina where they inhabit forests. And with proper care, Toby can live up to 20 years. Uh, Toby is actually going to be my second green cheek conure, and he's going to be my sixth bird all around. And today I'm going to be informing you on how to take care of Toby, what to feed Toby, and the pros and cons of having a green cheek conure. So, when you first think of taking care of a green cheek conure, it's probably simple, but um, Toby's nails need to be trimmed every two weeks. His food and water have to be changed every single day. And according to a site named Petmate, before bedtime, you have to take out the food before lice comes in and latch onto your bird. And you have to clean your bird's cage every single day because that after often leads to the bird picking at the stuff at the bottom of the cage so you don't want that happening and before bedtime you also need to put a blanket over the cage so that your bird doesn't get a thing called night frights where they all they'll do is just squawk squawk all night and they won't get any sleep and you probably won't get any sleep and you probably think that besides taking care of a toby you probably need to feed him so when you feed him According to a site named Kellyville, um, not only does your his food have to be good, but it also needs to be stimulating. So what it means by stimulating is that he needs to be looking for the food. So you probably would want to put paper over it, or probably like toilet paper and put the foods in there so that he can come in and kind of find the food so it mentally stimulates him. So Toby eats fruits and vegetables. But most of his food is pellets. So 60 to 70 percent of his food has to be pellets with fortified seeds. So fruits may include strawberries, grapes, and mangoes, but only in small portions because those foods do have a lot of high sugars. And vegetables, any type of varied vegetables is fine. But here are some foods that you do want to not feed your green cheek conure. So the first one would probably be avocados because according to a site named Supreme, avocados contain person and can lead to heart damage. Uh, another food that you probably don't want to give your green cheek conure is chocolates because they do have caffeine in it. And with caffeine, it induces seizures in your bird because your bird does have really, really high metabolism. Another really important thing to give your bird is small amounts of fruits because they do promote metabolism like mangoes and grapes but just a small portion another thing is that veggies like carrots broccoli and spinach have a lot of vitamins which is good for your bird but it's also really really important to give your bird a lot of protein so a lot of people say oh what do you think you should feed your bird for protein and a really popular one is chicken and i know it sounds really good, like ooh, no but it's actually really good for your green cheek conure um Besides having a green cheek conure, I know it sounds like a lot of work, but there are a lot of pros and cons to having a green cheek conure. And one of the pros is that Toby here is actually really, really cuddly. Um, he doesn't sleep in his cage, he actually sleeps in my room. And he doesn't sleep on my bed, but he does sleep on the thing. Uh, he's really intelligent, he knows everyone in my family, and he's very, very talkative, and he's very, very intelligent. I know that when we come back home from school or anything, he would scream because like we're always home now. Um, so, but even with the pros, there do come some cons. So Toby does like to yell, especially if he has night fries or his situ his living situation, his cage is not doing so well. He'll yell. And another thing that a lot of people seem to have a problem with green cheek conures is that they're very very high maintenance, and they can they really really like to squawk when they don't need to or really bad timing um so besides all of that i hope you guys enjoyed my speech on green cheek conures um and i hope you guys really learned about some info on how to take care of a bird what to feed your bird and how to feed your bird and the pros and cons of having a green cheek conure uh, I hope you guys stay safe and hope to see you guys soon.